I am Michael Veselinovsky. There is actually a funny story behind this. My favorite Mikey V moment was um, he came into a rehearsal one day and him and Ryan were arguing about um, whether or not it was okay to make assumptions. It was like a philosophical debate about whether uh, you should make assumptions in your life or whether you should just go do whatever you, like, whatever you think is right. And uh, you could tell no matter what that neither one of them was going to back off on it, but like it just never stopped. And Mikey just got so mad and we didn't really start improv until about 35 minutes into our rehearsal time. And uh, like even into the rehearsal, like when we were like, okay, we're rehearsing, this story just kept on going in this, this scenario. And it eventually dragged the whole troop in. Um, people started taking sides. I don't know. I don't know. It was just it was a very, very funny moment. Uh, the favorite, my favorite moment with Mikey V was in my very first uh, scene ever with the troupe. And Jenny and I started it. And the scene really got started off slow and it didn't go anywhere. And it was kind of going downhill. And we just kind of looked at each other. And it was almost as if we had a little telepathic moment where we're like, I know exactly what you're thinking. And out of nowhere, Mikey and Ryan came up through the ground from China and it, it just ended there. Everybody, I don't know how much more rehearsing we did after that. And I loved it. I was, I was just like, I can't believe we did the same thing without actually saying we were going to do it. <laughs> we were doing uh, the improv movie at the beginning of the semester and we wanted to make Mike a centaur, um, which would require him to be shirtless and wear a horse body with Ryan as the butt. And I was worried that Mike would, I guess I wasn't worried that he'd say no, but that he would be like not so sure about it. So I texted him and I said, would you mind being a centaur? And he didn't respond for so long, I thought he was for sure going to say no. And like at two in the morning I got a response that said, you've just made all my dreams come true. My favorite Mikey V moment would have to be at the 8 o'clock show of our very first show, my very first show. When we played the game Marshmallow, I was kind of nervous, and in rehearsals he's been pulling out this character where he turns into a child and has this high-pitched voice that makes everybody laugh. And I told him specifically not to do that on stage because I wouldn't be able to keep character, and he did it. One of our shows, we were playing Switch Left. He was in a scene with Cameron, and their location was, I believe, a sewer. And immediately, he put himself on a speedboat as a homeless man in the sewer, crossed his eyes, and was talking a mile a minute. Mikey came in with his eyes crossed in this ridiculous character as a janitor. And I told him right before the show, I said, Mikey, you cannot do that character because I will laugh. So sure enough, we get out there and I open the door to let Mikey in and he has that character and I completely lost it and I had to turn around and completely just gather myself before I could say my next line. And I was hosting and I couldn't say a word and Cameron didn't say a word throughout the entire scene. Everyone just stood in silence except for everyone who was laughing as he just kept rambling on and on and on. One moment where I almost peed my pants and uh, the whole audience loved it and I couldn't hold it, but it made for a great scene. Actually, I'm gonna go with this one time he turned into a serpent. For some reason, just the way he moved, it was kind of alarming, but it was really impressive. And uh, I just really appreciated the, I'm, I'm amazed by his physicalities. That, that's probably just my favorite Mikey V moment was he was just a serpent. Kind of hard to pick one moment because like, with a guy like Mike, I think there's a lot of moments that are just like really like funny and, and really like out there and that are like Mikey moments, I guess. So I'm gonna miss 
um, just Mikey because I feel like people that see the shows don't really like, like they see the funny Mikey and he's always funny, but they have no idea like he's so humble and he has no idea how good he is at improv. He gets ter more terrified than any of us before shows and he he's just a genuinely nice funny guy who everyone likes to be around. I don't know one person that doesn't like Mikey. I've, I've, uh, I just, I'm gonna miss Mikey. Uh, I will miss Mikey V as Mikey V. Uh, I haven't seen anybody do anything involving theater in any form of what he can do and he can be a normal person and make you laugh or he can be a crazy guy on a boat, cross-eyed, he can be jetpacking from scene to scene to scene. He can do whatever he wants and he, he can do it because he's funny. I just miss him. I'm gonna miss his dedication to improv. Um, every rehearsal he shows up and he's always so enthused no matter what kind of d bad day he had. If he ever has a bad day, I would never know if he had a bad day. Uh, and I think just, just the way he treats everybody else around him, he just really loves improv. He can do it for a It doesn't matter if a scene is falling apart or whatever, Mikey V will come up with a way just to make it ridiculous and make everyone laugh. And just the characters he comes up with just out of nowhere. And uh, he's just a really incredible improv actor. And I'm, he's a great guy. I think the thing I'm going to miss most about Mikey is probably the energy he brings uh, to everything that he does, um, to the troupe every time he comes. Uh, like I might, I think I could count on one hand um, the number of times where I, you know, he hasn't been uh, like crazy excited to be there. And even at those times, he's probably still the most excited person there. I'm gonna miss uh, Mikey V. Was actually very useful to uh, the understudies and the new people because he was very clear about workshopping and you know not just you know he was he was really useful to us and uh, he he helped us as improv artists. Not just, you know, all jokey joke, but he actually helped us. I think I'm just going to miss Mikey's enthusiasm and um, willingness to, to make everyone love improv. Like, if, if you're not getting up there and improv he'll make you get up there and he'll make you do what you don't want to do so that you can be better at it. So just his overall attitude and, and love of improv. Um, he just puts everything into things that he's passionate about. and. Sometimes you meet people and you know that they're going to do something amazing with their lives. And I think when you meet Mikey, everybody knows that he's one of those people. And it's just not something you see every day. So I'll miss that, I think. I know, I will. <laughs> what am I going to miss about Mike? I'm going to miss working with him. I love doing scenes with Mike. I, I'm going to miss practices and just, you know, bullshitting with them and, you know, all that kind of stuff and just him making me laugh, us having arguments of basically about nothing that go nowhere because there's no resolution to any argument that we have. And uh, I don't know, I'm just going to miss the guy. He's a, overall, he's a great guy and a fantastic friend and he's really an awesome person. We need a utensil, and we need one now. Baby. Put the, put the tongs down, and give me something we can work with. You've got to feed a thousand cats. I think the best part about, for me at least, is uh, when I'm at home, I uh, literally just improv with like my roommates. I'll just pretend to be a wizard coming out of my room for some odd reason. But um, I guess it gives me a chance to do that without people thinking that it's a little weird. Um, Every night, like I said, we get, a, we get an improv an hour. I don't even consider it improv. I just come and play with my friends. Like, it's perfect. <laughs>